Hey everybody, Brett with Tumbo here again. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is going through a complete installation process on our Tumbo trolley. Um, we're also going to do a kind of an unboxing right now, show you all the components that come in it to make sure you have everything, kind of show you how those work, and then we'll just go through step by step how to install it so you're familiar with that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get this opened up here. We're just going to kind of lay everything out on the table. So you can see what we have, what comes in the kit. Alright, so what we've got, first and foremost, we've got a full set of color instructions. So this is going to let you know step by step, just as a kind of a written reference as we go through on how to get this all set up. Um, like I said, we're also going to do it in video form coming up to make that a little easier if you're more of a visual person that way. Um, next on the list, we have the, kind of the backbone of the whole product, which is the cable. So we sell these in three different sizes. Um, I, I have a 50 foot version here in front of me now, but we also have them in 75 and 100 foot versions. Um, and we also have a new travel trolley version as well that we have another video that we're gonna kind of show you how that one works. Um, so we've got the cable. We've got a, uh, a four foot uh, section of protective vinyl tubing. And what this is going to do is just help you, if you're wrapping around live trees and things like that, we're going to insert this onto the cable, and it's just going to help prevent that cable from biting in. We have our tensioning device. Um, what makes this a little unique is it allows us to spool up this cable at basically any length from, you know, just a few feet all the way up to the maximum um, of the product. So in our case here, you know, we can go from, you know, five feet up to 50 feet. And anything in between so we, we know that nobody's gonna really set up a you know a five-foot trolley run but we just kind of say that so you know how flexible the product really is and how easy it is to install uh, we also have what we call the uh, slinger nugget and this is a solid aluminum billet with a stainless steel insert in it um, this is what kind of slides along so if you kind of zooms in here you can kind of see how that's set up in the middle and this gets installed on the cable and basically takes the place of a conventional pulley type system. So with that, with zero moving parts, it glides very easily and there's just nothing to rust, bind up, and, and cause problems down the road. We've got our leash assembly here with our coiled cable that's the outer covering. We've got the inner, which is the bungee, and I'm gonna show you in just a second here how to get these assembled together, because they go together. And then we are now including a uh, wrench for installation as well. And so basically this fits right onto the strainer and allows you to kind of spool this up. So everything you need is in the kit, no extra tools needed, no wrenches, anything like that, it's all provided for you. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is this part, I'm just gonna show you how to thread this through. We've got it on the instructions. Um, it's basically the second step as far as getting this all set up so it's ready to go later on. And so basically what we do is we're just gonna take one end of this uh, bungee and we're gonna slip it through the coiled cable. And we're just gonna run that all the way through. And this is just a one-time thing at the beginning when you're first setting up the product. You don't need to take this on or off later on. And so what we do is we pull that all the way through, and then we take one of the carabiner clips and clip it right onto this red cable loop. And then we just stretch it out and do exactly the same thing on the other side. We just hook that one on the other end. And then this is all strung together. And then we take one of the loops, or one of the snap hooks on the end, and we can put this extra three foot leash, the detachable leash, um, on there, and then this is all ready to go. So now that's all assembled. We'll show you how to hang that on later once we get everything set up. Um, 
But at this point, I think we're going to move on to our first connection point, and we're going to kind of show you how to step by step get this all installed and how quick and easy it is. Um, so let's. I'm going to gather up all these things now, and I'll meet you at the first connection. All right. So we want to do a quick update on the trolley lead line. Um, in late summer of 2019, we have done a redesign on the lead line, and these are going to start being shipped out. So we wanted to do a video kind of showing the new components that are going to be included and kind of how to assemble those for you as well. Um, so these are all the parts that are going to come with the new lead line. Um, we've got the bungee, which is a lot smaller than the one you've experienced before or just saw on the, on the video. We've got a small cable that goes around that. We've got uh, the same coiled cable that came in the other one, but it's not going to have the bungee within this piece any longer. We've got a carabiner and then the standard leash, just exactly the same as before. So we've got this all outlined in the instructions on how to assemble it, but I'm just going to go through kind of step by step now and show a visual. Um, so first thing to do is we just need to connect uh, one end. We can slide this through the uh, coil and connect one end with the carabiner under one of those loops. And then we're just going to pull this down all the way to the other end and connect it to the other side. And that's going to give us what we call the power coil assembly. So we've got strength from the power coil. Uh, the, the inner band is a lot stronger and thicker than the old band, so a little more strength there. Um, and so we get a little more anti-shock out of it. And it also keeps this bungee cord, which is the most kind of vulnerable portion of the system, kind of up high and out of the way. Um, after that, we just simply connect the coiled loop onto one of the ends. It can be either side. And then we have a loose carabiner that goes onto the opposite loop. And this is going to allow connection to the leash. Same as before, a detachable leash still comes on and off just like before, but it's just got a larger opening here now. It's actually a little easier than it was before. So um, this whole design, we just, we had a, a few uh, problems that came in where when we had the bungee running the whole length all the way down to the leash, some of the dogs that are chewers and biters, they were trying to kind of get in here and, and get themselves off of it like a lot of dogs do. And if they were able to, you know, get a tooth and puncture through this, it's only a matter of time before that band is going to break. And we had a few instances that were coming up like that. So we wanted to do a new design that kind of takes that whole thing right out of the equation. Um, one of the byproducts of this, uh, fortunately as well, is we had another thing that came in is some of the smaller dogs were having a hard time kind of stretching that old lead line out because that bungee allowed you know more resistance than this one does across the whole length. And so they weren't able to stretch this out as far and get kind of as far, have as much square foot of roaming basically. Um, with the new design, this cable in between is a lot lighter, allows for a lot easier movement um, for the smaller dogs or older dogs that don't have the strength as the, the young pups. And so that's been a benefit as well. Um, the other thing is, is if you do decide that you might want to update, if you already have one of the systems, we do sell the power coil assembly separate uh, on the website along with all the parts as usual. But this assembly right here is available separate. So if you wanted to you know, upgrade to this assembly if you thought it was better, then we do sell that. And all that needs to happen is this obviously goes at the top, connected to the slider. And then your old coil, you would use the old coil, you would just simply remove the old black band uh, from the middle, uh, discard that and hook up the new assembly. And then you're all set and ready to go. So again, all outlined in the instructions, shows exactly how to build the new cable, flip it over, it shows it on the back. And uh, that's going to be the new design. And like I said, going to be shipped uh, roughly late summer 2019. All right, so we're here at our first connection point. Uh, we've elected to use this dead post here for our first spot. And then we're going to drag this all the way out there to that grouping of trees over there where we're going to do our second connection point. Um, so this cable comes wound up with a zip tie around it. So I've already cut that off. And we're going to show you just kind of a what to do first is kind of before you connect anything, what we want to do is just lay this cable out all along the length. Um, because this is all wound up like this, if you just let the thing go, it's going to get really tangled up. So take some time and start to just kind of lay it out and unroll it a little bit at a time. And we're just going to do that across the whole distance here. And as soon as I get this done, I'll be back to that connection point. We're going to show you how to hook that up. 
All right, so we're back at the first connection point here. I've got the cable, it was all the way stretched out, and then I looped this one in back to us, because we're going to have both ends here. Um, so that vinyl protective tubing that we showed you during the unboxing, uh, what we did is I've already pre-installed this onto here, but what we're accomplishing with this is to try to prevent protect wood surfaces or a tree trunk or things like that from the cable cutting into it. So we want to get that installed on the back of this, that way it doesn't bite into the wood and cause any damage. So what we're going to do, first step, is we already have a loop factory installed on this cable. We're just going to go ahead and wrap that around. And then we're going to run the loose end of the cable right through that loop. And we're going to pull all this slack right through. This takes a little bit of time. We've got the 100 foot version today, so we're just going to run this through. We've got this all the way around, and then before we cinch it up, we're just going to make sure that we've got this protective tubing on the back side, and then you just pull it tight and you're ready to move on to connection point number two. All right, so we're out here at our second connection point. Uh, first step is going to be to put the slider onto the cable. So I'm just going to thread that through, and then we're going to run this down. And I'm actually just going to sling it down there and send it towards the middle of the cable. You can kind of see how easily that slides along there. And the next point, I'm going to grab the tensioning device. Now this has some several holes in it. The first one we're going to use is the one right at the point here. And we're going to run this through. And this drum also has two holes in it. You can kind of see those there. We're just going to pick one of those. It doesn't really matter which one. We're going to run the cable through there. Pull this out the other side. And then we're also going to take another piece of the protective tubing and put that on as well just to protect this tree bark. And then we're going to wrap all of that around the tree. Now we want to leave a little bit of slack in this because we want to make sure that we're going to have enough revolutions of this drum to hold everything tight and secure and that nothing can come loose. So right now we're going to take the loose end of this cable and we're going to go back through this second hole that we did not use. And we're just going to pull all the slack out the bottom here. So we're kind of going to get this into position. Now depending, when you're setting this up, you're going to want to figure out kind of what height you want it at. Uh, we're actually pretty low here. I'm not using a ladder or anything, but we've got a, a pretty good drop off in the landscape here. So we wanted a certain height down that side. So we're able to hang it fairly low here. So the only tool you need for installation is a 9 16 inch box end wrench or an adjustable wrench, which I have here. A lot of you are familiar with these. They fit numerous sizes, makes it really easy. We've got the uh, tubing position on the back side. And we're just going to take our wrench and we're going to start to spool this up. And we're just going to kind of keep going through here. Sometimes you have to adjust these cables and make sure they're not getting caught on the teeth. And we're just going to keep winding this. Until we get it nice and tight. Alrighty, so we can, as you can see, we've got it nice and tight and secure along there. Not any slack in this line. And this extra, we can either, we can just basically, we can tie this off here. You can feel free to cut it off. We usually like to leave a little bit, don't cut it too close to the drum, just to make sure it doesn't come unraveled. But you can usually just wrap this around a couple of times and get it to stay secure there, up and out of the way. 
and then we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so I'm back here for the last step of the video, and all we need to do now is connect our lead line to the slider device. So the slider comes with two cable loops pre-made into it, and what we're gonna do is just run the snap hook through both of these. And we're gonna just hang that right there, secure. We'll come down here and connect the leash. And so this again is just a, uh, you can leave it connected all the time if you like, but it's also handy if you have a dog that wants to kind of take, make a run for it when you let them off because they're just so excited, um, then it makes sense to kind of keep them hooked up. Uh, but you'll normally be connecting the dog's uh, collar or harness to this snap hook here. And then this one, you can always leave them connected and then pop this off to get them inside or take them on a walk or something of that nature. Um, but this is uh, basically the conclusion of the installation video. Uh, once this is all set up, uh, the dogs, these stretch out to about 20 feet when they're at full length. And in this case, you know, we can go 20 feet either direction and we've got about 100 feet of length here. So it gives the dogs quite a bit of uh, room to play around and not feel too confined, uh, be out in the open. And it doesn't require you to have a fence. So this is a, a great fencing alternative, a lot less cost, but it really does. All right, so we also wanted to show you the connection of the new lead line, which I have here. Uh, connects exactly the same as before. So you're just going to go to your slider, you're going to take the two ends, you're going to push those together, connect the carabiner right around both of those, so you're all in there firm. And same as before, you know, it's going to slide easily across, nothing changes as far as that goes, but as we walk out, you're going to notice that the coil that's separate is going to stretch out first, which is a lot easier for the smaller dogs like I was talking about. But if you have a dog that's a little you know, is a little more energetic and they get all the way out to the end, that power coil is going to kick in and then that's going to allow the last little bit of stretch. This is going to provide that much more anti-shock for them, but also be protected up high in the air like this to where they can't get to it. So this kind of shows the proper configuration. You want to make sure you set it up just like this with the power coil on top, then the bear coil assembly, and then the leash. That's the proper order, so we want to make sure we do that every time.